Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Genevieve. It is a cold, dreary, rainy Sunday in New Jersey. And I decided today I'm gonna go through my Valentine's Day bins. I have two totes that we pulled out of the crawl space. We put all of our Christmas totes away and I grabbed all of my Valentine's Day ones out. Well, Nick grabbed them because <laughs> it's hard to get them out of there. So I have two bins to go through. If I'm being honest with you, I have no recollection of what Valentine's Day decor that I have because last year I was in my first trimester pregnant with Claire in February and I did not decorate at all. I was very nauseous. So I haven't decorated in two years now. So basically all of my stuff is gonna feel brand new. Hopefully I don't have the itch to go get any new Valentine's Day decor, but I don't think that I will because all of it's gonna feel brand new because I haven't seen it in two years. I do think that I wanna film a cute like Valentine's Day hot chocolate station for Nick and I to do for like a Valentine's Day date at home. So that is a plan for a video coming up. And then um, I do wanna add a couple of things to my hutch. I think that's probably the extent of Valentine's that I'll go for. We'll do a little like coffee bar, hot chocolate area, and then put some pieces into my hutch. It's hard for me to get down into the crawl space by myself. Um, just being like postpartum and all of that. And I had a C-section and I just am not strong like I used to be. So I have actually had a couple random things in my drawer here that I have wanted to put into my Valentine's totes that have been in this drawer for two years. Things that I bought after the season, like the Valentine's season that I got on sale. So they've been sitting in this drawer for two years, so I'm excited to clear them out. I'll do that first and then bring in my totes from the garage. So let me show you what's in this drawer. I almost completely forgot about these items. I was going through my drawers and stuff because a lot of my hosting stuff is in here for the holidays. So I was going through and I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot I had this Valentine's Day stuff stuffed in here. And I still like these things. They'll look cute with like my solid iron stone, like my neutrals and stuff. They'll blend in really well. This is a stack of four or three bowls. They're same hearts. Um, I have this like heart measuring cup with some labels. And it looks like I might have used these last year. I mean two years ago. These hearts, they're like rusty. No clue where I got those. I have these, the stack of like heart cookie cutouts. They look cute in my hutch right now. They still fit the vibe. Valentine paper crafts. I don't know why I bought this or what the heck I thought I was doing with that, but that's something that we have. And then I remember getting this at Michael's, Lover's Lane. I think I got this on like major clearance. I don't know where the heck I'm putting that. So I'm gonna go grab my totes from the garage. Why is this so heavy? Genuinely, I could not tell you one thing that's in these totes. If I donated both of these without opening, I don't think I would miss any of it because I have no idea what's in here. I do want to share that, yes, I want to declutter a lot of my bins and pare down a lot of things, but I still do want to keep a lot of cute things for holidays and just cute things decor-wise in general for Claire and future kids to grow up with and stuff. Like how fun is it gonna be like to do Valentine's Day baking and stuff with my kid with this cute little measuring cup, you know? 
I love that kind of stuff. But the problem with this house is we just don't have a lot of storage. We don't have a basement. We have a crawl space, which it's finished, but it does get a lot of moisture down there. And then we have an attic, but it's completely unfinished. There's just insulation everywhere. So very limited on what we can put up there. There isn't even like drop down stairs to get up there. So it's just not convenient. And for the longest time before I had Claire, I would just put things in the spare bedrooms. But now one of the bedrooms is hers. And then I'm very limited on space in the second bedroom because it's like our cat litter box room and like the cats have their cat tree in there and all of that stuff. So if I had a gigantic house with a like storage closet in the basement with like racks, which is a dream, like racks of storage, then I'd probably be able to keep a lot of this stuff and cycle through it. But in this phase of life, I don't have a lot of storage, but one day we will get there. We will have a basement and a finished walk-in attic. Yes, we will. I'm putting it into the universe, okay. Okay, so like I did with my Christmas decor, if you remember, I am just going to open up my totes and make piles of things I want to keep, things I want to donate or sell on Facebook Marketplace. So let's go. What the hell is this stuff? Oh, this is kind of cute. Last Valentine's Day, I did like this whole tablescape. <laughs> Mommy ain't got time for that this year. <laughs> oh my god, and I DIY'd all these houses. I don't want these anymore. Um, so I sell so much stuff on Facebook Marketplace. Highly encourage you to start selling things on there. I just do porch pickup. If people can Venmo me in advance, I do that. And it just works really well for me. I've never had any weird encounters or anything like that. You do you, I feel safe and comfortable and that is all. But I am going to set these houses up on my mantle and take a picture when I'm all done filming this video to post on Facebook Marketplace. So if you see random houses on my mantle, that's why. This was a Dollar Tree DIY that I did. I still like that. this much Valentine's Day decor. I do remember I got like a bunch of these little trinkets from Hobby Lobby and the Dollar Tree because I did a tiered tray, but still just like, this is too much. for. I, it, 
doesn't even look like I used these. Oh, good God. So here is my hodgepodge mess. I'm going to use this spare bin to bin up all of the stuff that I'm gonna just, um, you know what? I was gonna donate some of it, but I feel like I'll just take a picture and do like one big bundle of like the cheap stuff from Dollar Tree. I'll just post it for like five, 10 bucks. I think there's probably like 15 Dollar Tree things in here and see how that goes and then really go through and be intentional about what I'm gonna keep. So just as an example, this is all of the stuff that I'm going to post in a bundle. I actually think I'm going to put both of those houses in this as well and see if I can just take one photo and do a bundle deal. That way one person picks everything up. It's just easier on me and I don't have to go listing everything individually. Half of this stuff was very affordable, so... Even if I can get like five, 10 bucks for it, I think it's worth it. And then if nobody wants it, I'll just donate it, to be honest with you. Okay, so these two items, I know I paid a little bit more for, so I want to post them individually. And then I don't think I'm gonna use these this year. I'm gonna just go back through the stuff that I put to the side and decide if I really want to keep it or not. I think most of this, is going to be keep items though. Um, I know I wanted to do that little hot cocoa bar thing I was telling you about. So those are going to go well, on my little cocoa bar. So will these signs. Um, I am going to keep those bowls. They're very cute. And I also have the pink set <laughs> that I guess... I just uh, thought I had to have. So we've got those all as keep. These are gonna be keep as well. This is all okay. keep. So let's see if we can get everything into one tote. I'm gonna use the tote with the latches just because this stuff goes back into the crawl space and if it can latch, that is gonna keep it safer longer from like mildew and stuff. But I am gonna keep this upstairs obviously until uh, I start to decorate for Valentine's Day, which I don't know when that will be because I'm probably gonna enter my depresso area when I have to go back to work in the beginning of February. <laughs> I still actually have room in here, surprisingly. So if I do go to Hobby Lobby or Dollar Tree and see anything that I like, I have to keep in mind, if I can fit it in this one bin only, then I'll buy it if I really, really love it. But otherwise, I have plenty, but we'll see. You know, it's always a little tempting when 
the next holiday comes out. Hobby Lobby just really gets you. So yeah, have a little bit more room and I was able to condense down to just one bin, which is very successful. That's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me declutter some of this holiday decor on a Sunday in my jammies. Just keeping it real over here, you know? Who would declutter in like jeans with their makeup done? Not me. Okay, that's gonna be it for today's video. I'll see you all in my next one. Bye guys.